Hello everyone. Uh, watched a video this afternoon from uh, Rob Hamilton and he was responding to a challenge by Ted Nicholas uh, to show the guns that you used or would use to train your youngsters to shoot. And uh, I thought this was a fantastic idea. Ted, that's, that's a good one. Uh, so I wanted to jump in too. And these are the guns that I have used uh, to teach my son. Now, just because there wasn't much room, and since we were talking firearms, not uh, air guns, we did start out, uh, you know, in the backyard with the, the Red Rider and a, uh, I believe it's a Crossman pump gun that you can pump up several times. We had a real nice little trap there, and uh, that was what we actually started with. But as far as firearms go, um, <clears throat> and let me just do real quick so that uh, everybody's satisfied that these are all safety checked they are all emptied there is nothing in the chamber of any of them so they are safe um, as far as rifle and uh, 22 rimfire Rob had a, a real nice little savage there that uh, he used for Maisie and uh, he didn't like the cricket because the uh, the plunger you have to pull back and I wasn't crazy about that myself but this was what was available for me so I got my son the, uh, the my first rifle, the little cricket, uh, a single shot twenty two, which I you know a single shot anything for teaching a kid. I think is just about perfect. Now because of my old eyes and because he was having some difficulty with the peep sight, um, I did remove it, put a, a little rail on there, and it got a scope because I wanted him to have some successes and not lose interest, and. Uh, that little gun will stick around for training more kids, and I may well take that hunting because it is darn accurate, especially with that scope on it. So we've put a, a bunch of rounds through that. That's been a great little gun. Now, as far as pistols go, um, I also like something, not necessarily single shot, but single action for sure. And uh, this is an EAA um, It does have a magnum cylinder that comes with it, and it has an interesting um, safety Kind of similar to what the Heritage Rough Riders are, and that's a good choice for training kids too. But uh, this one was the one that I started him with so that he would uh, be pretty good with it. And this is one of those uh, four and three quarter barrels, I think. So it's a little bit lighter, nicer, but you can still get pretty good accuracy out of it. Um, he's also fired my barkeep, but that one with the shorter barrels a little tougher. Now, this one um, wasn't necessarily one that I trained him with, but I presented this one to him on our last range trip that I bought this gun when he was born with the intent of giving it to him someday. Uh, this is a, a German import. Uh, it's marked LA's deputy. This is one of those ones with the Zamac frame that they, uh, you know, put all the regulations against eventually. And this does not come with a, a Magnum cylinder, but just with the 22 LR. And this will be the, uh, the gun that he gets to kick around with whenever he's going to be going out and, and being in the woods, that one is his. Now for shotgun, uh, Ted had a, uh, a single shot Hatfield 12 gauge and uh, single shot definitely, but I went with a little lighter. Um, <clears throat> this one is an uh, New England Firearms uh, Pardoner and this one's in 410 gauge. So it's actually a pretty heavy little gun because it's got a piece of <laughs> looks like a piece of schedule 40 pipe for a barrel um, so it's a little heavy but the recoil is not too uh, too rough and uh, he actually loved shooting that and unfortunately shells are a little difficult to come by so uh, we had to back off shooting that one but we've moved up to a 20 gauge and he's doing real good with that both the single shot um, we got a Mossberg 500 that uh, seemed a little bit heavy and big for him and last week I was able to find a nice little uh, Maverick 88, more like a youth model. So we're going to try that one out maybe this weekend if we get a chance. So uh, that's my lineup of what I used with my son. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what all the other entries are. Uh, I know some other folks like uh, Boomstick and Treetop Outdoors were tagged on this one. So uh, looking forward to what else comes out. Uh, again, can't say it enough. Ted, I think this was a great idea. And... Uh, Hope everybody has a good one. Thank you.